Hi, so today we, uh, this is our third time at um, Shiari. Uh, the purpose for this trip or today's visit is to test out a prototype we built with, which we are looking at using to um, pump water from their yeah, water source to the village. And then we are also looking at being able to take the actual measurement from the water source to the village. So basically these are um, what we are looking at doing here today. So yeah. So this is a prototype which we made out of plastic pipes. Um, this is called ram pump. So um, ram pumps basically works by um, using the pressure from a flowing water to be able to pump the water, uh, whichever height or out, um, yes, that you may want. So that's what we are going to be testing, and we we'll see how that is going to go. Yep. So we thought of. Um, working on a water project um, for Shiari after our second visit. That was when we covered the documentary. There was the need for that because um, according to their story, a lot of people have come, visited like tourists, you know, so many people and some pledged they want to support, you know, solve some of their challenges, but we never hear from them and we don't want to be like them. We wanted to try as much as possible to at least uh, in our own small way cause some you know, change here so that was that was um, one of the main reasons why we thought of working on the water project you know they have numerous challenges and we can't solve all their challenges for them but um, we thought um, since their current source of water is a bit far away getting it a bit closer would ease you know um, the you know uh, energy they will have to use and go into the current like the, the, with their water source to fetch water um, to and to the village so that is why we are thinking of this particular solution initially we are looking at using um, an electrical pump and a storage water storage tank which is going to pump you know the water from the current water source to the village but we noticed it was going to be extremely expensive to have that and we we're also looking at how sustainable that um, was going to be so then we had to rethink the solution and we thought of a round pump technology which we are here to test we've seen um i've personally seen a lot of demos where uh, it works um, like in similar situation so we want to see how this is the solution is going to uh, maybe work and once it works uh, it's going to be sustainable because this just basically works by the pressure to the village and to check also the height and then also it's going to sketch the path because you are looking at building a 3D design of our and then we test this of course yeah, we have to be steady Okay. This goes here. By the okay. So when the water flows in, just we open this valve, we close this valve from the water. Mm. So when it comes in here, it builds up air in this. Okay. And the air once it's too Stuck. much, it can't yeah. here. So it pushes the water, push this one out. Okay. Through this, it will come from here. This way under a bit of pressure. Exactly. That is how it works. So I understand that this is more like a prototype, but these tubes will be way bigger. Yes, they are bigger ones. But then, this will actually even work, depending on the Yes, output. this will work, but then yeah, the bigger, bigger the, one, yeah. the pressure. Okay. Yes. No, so, as of now, no, we can do something which will be maybe a multiple, maybe a two or three, because it will be good to distribute them across. Yeah. But the main one would probably be here. Because you need air climbing on. Yeah. On the hour for this year, I say level. Yeah, but it's not so helpful. Uh-huh. If you can level the other one, one, one. Ah. Uh. Yeah, very helpful. So, this side, 
basically goes down and it goes down like that if I slip right now they would have to pick me down from probably what 100 meters down this is scary Like for real? Why? This is Ooh. super risky. <laughs> this is super, super risky. So we had to go to the elders to seek confirmation before um, coming to the source of water to test out our um, prototype. So the approval of our um, coming as well as being able to come to the, um, the current source of water. So we are here now um, going through the rocky path. We are currently here and I'll have to get myself into the water over there to uh, we'll first have to assemble this and then maybe I'll walk you through what this setup is about and then we'll go in there and then try it out and see how that is going to function so yeah we have two setups here they're basically performing the same thing um, testing out this first uh, so this is um, built out of plastic pipe so we have a so we cut a pipe to a half inch pipe and then we also have some check valves here and then we have some air valve here as well so i'll be installing this on top this is an air chamber which is going to go to the input so this is going to serve as the input uh, let me just screw this entirely and this is going to um, get a water into this uh, we need Wait, we are missing out the pipe. We use this. That's uh, okay. There's no pipe here. He said the one with the longer height you know, should produce more pressure. That is what we are looking at. It doesn't always necessarily mean so. Depends on the flow of the water. That will be able to tell. And I, I think say so, with this approach, then you need where the water is flowing the fastest. Yeah. So which is probably at that very spot. And and the water flowing also. Or the other end. Okay, okay so yeah, right. This one closes. This one. Okay, okay. So I need the help of someone. So it, it should keep doing that at that? Yes, it has to keep doing that at that same wait because now we are having a constant flow to it so when that is happening so that essentially the yes. comes the pumping yes. mechanism that is the pump so you see the water you also say it was the air no the yes. air is going out you yes. see the air yes unite is, is the water still flowing um i think it got stuck here okay oh i think it's going somewhere yes. okay. <laughs> So, um, as of now, this is basically serving as a pump. We have the input over there, which is drawing water into the whole setup. What this is doing is that it's pumping air 
um, out and most of the air comes to fill in this particular chamber which is called the air chamber so when this is filled up I have this valve closed over here because I want a lot of air built into this chamber when this is filled up I open this and this begins to push of course the water out of the hose so that it becomes a free flow system so basically this thing would need to be pumping like that yes throughout the entire system yeah that is the function of it okay so unfortunately we couldn't get this to function the way we wanted it to function it looks like we there might be some missing pieces that we haven't figured out yet so we're actually going back to the drawing board and figure out what we might be missing this is actually the system um, however i don't know if it has to do with the pressure of the water here or our input or our output it was able to pump the water to some point at the very beginning uh, but after some time uh, it wasn't continuous i think it stopped and uh, we couldn't really tell what a problem um, was so uh, yeah so this is this is i think the second test we are having um, the first test we had was with a different water source and it didn't work but testing it with the actual water source um, seems not to function the way we wanted it to so yeah that is basically what has happened here so far so we are going to go back um to the village maybe figure out a couple of things with our setup and then um maybe we may come back if not we might try this elsewhere just to see um it work and then we can think of a bigger solution um for it so that is best, just about it very moment um trying to take the distance that's the measurement from the source of water to the village i use google maps so google map has a feature where you're able to plot every coordinate of where you are and then it calculates the, the distance for you so okay. if you look on my phone i don't know if you can look on my screen you see that this is the start point and anytime i get to like a point i plot and then i keep plotting and then plotting all the way through from that side to this very point it gives me 0 0.3 miles so i'll do the conversion into maybe feet or meters and then um, see get to know the actual measurement from that place to this place. yeah moment and um, we brought our turns back to the car couldn't achieve entirely our purpose for coming but it's all good we're going back to our drawing board and figure out what we might have missed um, throughout this entire setup so yeah but we're able to determine the distance as well as the height and then we're able to get a basic sketch of the place that is going to be like um designed in a 3d application so that's still good we came so about taking our leave and uh, whatever update is there, we get to know about it.